What are you doing at this hour? Oh, I know. You are eavesdropping. I must admit that I approve. Professor, we must remain quiet. I see. The Flame Emperor and Monica. And the mage who rescued Monica. Not yet, Professor. An unexpected chance to hear their plans. Patience, patience. Oh, thank you. You saved me. If you were to die, then the mystery of our bodies would be revealed. Preventing that was my only aim. I'm afraid you must remain, Kronya. There is something I need you to do. Oh, of course. I am always happy to cooperate with Solon. Leave it to me. How annoying. Flame Emperor, is she offending you? Unfortunately, we cannot take our eyes off her, so there is nothing to be done. You are our greatest creation. We use the defiled beast's blood as the fuel to your flame, that you may burn even the gods. Now is the time to cleanse Fodlin with that power and bring forth our salvation. There will be no salvation for you and your kind. Those responsible for such gruesome deeds in Dusker and Enmar. All so that you may acquire the strength you need. All for a purpose. I've got you. Finally. If we don't act now, we'll miss our chance. <laughs> Even if someone has overheard us, there is nothing they can do. There have always been rats in the walls, and there always will be. No. The dagger. No, never mind. It couldn't possibly be so. Professor, those are the ones we must destroy. They're the bastards who killed my family and Geralt. For now, let's return to the monastery and regroup. As for the Flame Emperor's dagger, I'll hold on to it for the time being. <laughs> 